We had wandered in the desert for a long time until we finally camped at the base of Mount Sinai, the mountain of God. This is my story of what happened when God spoke to us and gave us his commandments, his rules for our lives. Do not worship any other gods besides me. Do not make idols of any kind, whether in the shape of birds or animals or fish. You must never worship or bow down to them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God who will not share your affection with any other God. This is our camp. And there I am, coming out to feed the animals. And there's Jacob, my prize-winning bull, my most valuable possession. This story is as much about him as it is about me. Shaddy, Hannah, Rachel, Martha, Breakfast! Oh, I better get you guys some water. Get out of my way. Me first. Why does he get to eat first? Oh, save some for me. We must share. Your share? <laughs> it's what's left. That was so mean, Jacob. Lighten up. I was hungry. That was supposed to be for all of us. No way, Gramps. I get more than that as a snack in Egypt. Why don't you go back to Egypt? I would if I could. In Egypt, I'm golden. I'm worshipped and adored as a god. There's only one god. Remember him? He's the one who gave Moses the power to part the sea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen him around here lately, have you? Moses is probably talking to him on the mountain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you ever think that Moses and God may have gone and left us in this burning hot desert? God is never gone. He is always with us, taking care of us. Oh, good. Then I'm sure he'll take care of getting you some food. Moses had been gone a long time. Food was scarce, and so was water. Don't worry, he's trained. <laughs> he's incredible. He's the most amazing pet that I have ever had. I am Ephraim, and this is Ezekiel, but I call him Zeke. I'm Seth. What are you doing out here? I was going to get water from the stream, but it's dry. On the other side of the camp, near the mountain, you'll find Jethro's well. Oh, thanks. I'll see you later. I have fun with Zeke. I will. Who would not have fun with the greatest falcon in the world? Jacob, my calf, was definitely not as great as Ephraim's falcon. If I had a pet like that, then I would really be somebody around camp. Well, Hazaka, isn't it wonderful that we have water? Oh, amazing. Another miracle. In Egypt, we have the whole Nile. Ah, but we're not in Egypt anymore. Things were better in Egypt. As slaves? As slaves, we didn't have to wait in line for hours to get water. When are we all going to face the fact that Moses is gone? He's been up on that mountain for over a month, and he's not coming. Back. He's got a point, Boaz. That's true. He's probably not coming back. What will we do if Moses doesn't come back? Who will lead us? Hazaka, what do you suggest? I have an idea. Come with me. Let's follow Hazaka. Excuse me. Anybody know where Jethro's well is? Over there, little boy. Little boy? Huh. It was a daily occurrence that people would complain to Aaron, Moses' brother. He was in charge of everything while Moses was away. Mm. Here comes trouble. Oh, I just wish Moses would hurry back. How may I help you, my brethren? Aaron, we have a list of grievances. Ooh, 
that's quite a list. Uh, if you'll just leave it with me, I will review it and see what we can do. We are tired of waiting. We want action now. Well, <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, what is your most pressing issue? What are you going to do about God? Hm, nothing. God can take care of himself. You can't expect us to worship an invisible God. We need a God we can see. We need gods like we had in Egypt. Made of stone or gold or jewels. These people and many others are seriously thinking about going back to Egypt. Uh, Miriam, what should I do? I must do something to keep them from leaving. No. The people want a leader. A man of decisions, not just somebody else's mouthpiece. True. All right, all right. Yeah, well, how about this? I shall make a statue. Collect golden rings and earrings from your wives and daughters, bring them to me, and, and I shall melt them down and make a great... Uh, a great... Mistake. God, you can see. Where have you been? I found Jethro's well. It's really close, just over there. Mom, I heard some people talking about wanting to go back to Egypt. Do you think Moses is really gone for good? Hmm. I don't know, Seth, but I don't think so. Then what's he doing on the mountain for so long? He's probably just enjoying a peaceful mountaintop experience with God. <sighs> Have you fixed the fence yet? Uh, trying to, Mom. Aw, oh, Hannah, stop it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Mom, it's not funny. <laughs> no. Well, it looks funny. I'm off to trade for some grain. I'll be back in a little while. So, while I'm gone, you're the man of the tent. <laughs> Excuse me, little boy. I'm not little. Oh, but of course, forgive me. I can see that now. Is your mother or father at home? My mom just left, and my dad is dead. Can I help you? Ah, well, perhaps. <laughs> I understand that you have a prized young calf. Jacob, over there. But he's not for sale. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to buy him. We are looking to honor the best calf in the camp at a great festival. Such a great honor for his master, too. What would you want him to do? He would model, pose, and we would make a golden statue that looks like him. Really? Just like in Egypt. Interesting. Uh, sure. As long as he's well cared for. Of course. He will be the roast. I, I mean, toast of the festival. <laughs> and naturally, you will both become quite famous. Bring the little calf and let's go see Aaron. Aaron himself? Wow! <whistles> Come on, Jacob! Excuse me, ladies. My fans are calling. They're not really going to make a statue of him, are they? I doubt it. No one can make a head that big. Hmm. Something doesn't smell right. Where is Amos? Why do you want that rat? I prefer rodent, if you don't mind. Amos, we need your help. Can you follow Jacob and see where they're taking him? And what do I get in return? How about we let you live? Okay, that's fair. Amos, go quickly. We're counting on you. More baubles for our golden god. Excellent work, Naomi. Oh, thank you, Hazaka. Come with me. Let us take the gold to Aaron. I am right behind you. Oh, my. 
are you all right? I think it's gone now. Well, Aaron, Boaz and Naomi have some of the gold that's been collected. Ahem. And here is the perfect model for your golden calf. Yes, he's a beautiful calf. Wonderful. Then we will make plans right away for the festival. Festival? Right away? Oh. I've got to go tell my friend. Stay right there. I'll be right back. Where am I going to go? I am right where I always wanted to be. Aaron's going to build an idol made of gold. Quite the most astounding statue you could ever hope to see. No, he didn't choose a camel, goat, or lamb in the fold. He's modeling that idol after me. My name is Jacob. See me shine. Yeah, I'm what glitter, so I must be gold, and that's divine. Cause if I'm gold, people will come to worship me real fast. And if they worship Jacob, Jacob must be a star. At last. It's my golden opportunity to taste the good life soon. Yeah, those who weren't my friends will change their tune. Hello, Seth. Hi, Mahida. Amazing. Everybody knows your name. It looks like I have chosen my new friend well. Psst. Shaddy, you finally made it. We've been gathering firewood, Amos. Jump in my pack. We'll take you back to the others. Yeah. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Very graceful. How's my calf? Oh, hello up there, Seth. Uh, Aaron knows your name, too? You must be the most popular boy in camp. Oh, you can pick up your little Jacob this afternoon after the festival. Uh, now, uh, excuse me, boys. I, I am on quite a tight deadline. Be sure and tell everyone back at that pathetic little pen that the most important animal ever spoke to you. What? You know better than us. Oh, poor, poor Rachel. If you haven't noticed, I'm golden. I'm like a god. You are not god. Oh, but I am. Just ask anyone. Come on, Shaddy. Rachel, let's go. Now the golden calf will go there and will sacrifice over there. You're going to kill the little bull, of course. Of course. After all, we need an offering. And the little boy? One offering at a time. <laughs> and this will be the high point of my career. The people will love me. I will become their leader rather than Aaron or Moses, <laughs> wherever he is. Go down the mountain. The people you have brought from Egypt have defiled themselves. They have already turned from the way I commanded them to live. They have made an idol shaped like a calf, and they have worshipped and sacrificed to it. Go. Music for the big party to celebrate your little friend. Jacob? Yep. 
He and the golden version himself. I refuse to worship Jacob as a god. That is the smartest thing that anyone has said all day. Hey, don't worry. He's history. They're planning on sacrificing him. What? What? That's why they built the altar. I was afraid of that. Can we do something? I'm afraid it's too late. The festival is starting. Let's go. Let's grab Shaddy, and then we can see over the crowd. To our new god, O oh Israel, the god who brought us out of Egypt. Coins for our god. A tribute to the god we can see. Well, at least they stopped grumbling. Some of them. I think this is disgusting. Oh, my. Huh, look! There's Jacob! We've been stuck here in this dull and dusty desert. Our only company is lizards and snakes. Lost where no one can find us. Our homes are far behind us. So we're moving on whatever it takes. So much for that up in the sky, God. We fashioned a God you can see. You don't have to moan. Moses left you alone. Follow me, follow me, follow me. No more stalling. Come with me and find the promised land. Cause this wilderness and happiness don't mix. If you've hungered for a party, it's here. Drink deep, eat hearty. Cause there's nothing wrong with you I can't fix. Why go with a god in the distance? A faith you can touch is the key. You know what you hold with a god made of gold. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Let us give a gift, a sacrifice to our new golden god. Ready for your big moment? Uh, oh. What's he doing? He said that he wouldn't hurt Jacob. Uh, no! No! Moses! Do you remember what the Lord commanded? Do not worship any other gods. Do not make any kind of idols. The Lord will not let this go unpunished. You, melt this calf in the fire. The rest of you, go back to your tents and pray for forgiveness. Aaron, come with me. What happened, Aaron? Moses, you, you, you know what an impatient group these people are. I had to do something when you were gone for so long. They wanted to go back to Egypt. Did you not see the miracles of God in Egypt, Aaron? These commandments are God's covenant with his people, written in his own hand. 
They must be obeyed. I am sorry, brother. Well, well, well. If it isn't our bull-headed little friend. It couldn't be that young bull who used to live here. Oh, no. He's too far above us to ever visit this dusty corner of the desert. Okay, okay. I made a mistake. I wanted everyone to worship me. Is that so bad? Yes! yes. Okay, I know that now. Mom! Have you seen Jacob? I think your little friend has come home. Jacob! You are very lucky to get him back. Oh, Jacob, I almost lost you. But it was wrong to let him pose for an idol. I just did it because I wanted to have a popular animal like you. I guess I wanted to be somebody to make everybody think that I was more than just a kid with no dad who takes care of the stables. Seth, you are somebody. You are my friend. Thanks. I'm sorry. Can you guys ever forgive me? Yeah, I guess we still love you, even if we don't like you sometimes. Just try not to make fun of us. Or eat all the food. And, and be kind to rodents. Rats. And never forget, God has given you a second chance to put him first. Okay, I promise. I'm a changed bull. There's only one God, no other idols. But do I really have to share the food? Jacob! Jacob. Just kidding. still camp near Mount Sinai, the mountain of God. Moses went back up to the mountain to replace the first set of Ten Commandments that had been broken. So, once again, all of us waited. I wish we'd get going for the promised land, because my mom keeps thinking of way too many chores for me to do. Here you go, guys. See you in the <gasps> morning. I was so tired, I couldn't wait to get to sleep. Seth, you've worked hard rebuilding the pen. You've earned your rest, my little man. Mother, why does it keep thundering on the mountain? God is giving Moses new tablets of the commandments. The Lord has forgiven us, but we must learn how to obey him. The commandments will help us learn how. Ah. Uh... Seth, it's time to say your prayers. Uh, Seth. <laughs> God, guide us, your people. Help us to do better this time. And bring Moses back safely. Oh, he has been gone for a long time. Do not misuse the name of the Lord your God. The Lord will not let you go unpunished if you misuse his name. Remember to observe the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Six days a week are set apart for your daily duties and regular work. But the seventh day is a day of rest dedicated to the Lord your God. Seth, Seth, time to wake up, son. What, what, what is it? Oh, five more minutes, Mom. Oh, Seth, there's lots to do. Uh, you need to feed the animals. Oh. Oh, and don't forget, you have to gather enough manna for two days. The Sabbath begins tonight. Ah, <sighs> the Sabbath. A day of rest. Layla! Layla! 
Who's calling you? Uh, I don't know, but they're going to wake the camp. Layla! <sighs> Who's interrupting my beauty sleep? Layla! Uh, how is an animal supposed to get any shut-eye around here? I've been wondering that all night, with all that snoring going on. Look, when I'm really tired, I snore. Carrying all that wood and stones for the pen was tiring. Hearing you constantly complain is even more tiring. Watch it, Rat. Rodent, if you don't mind. Oh, come on, you two. <laughs> Be nice to each other. Layla, you've got to come quickly, Layla. Joshua! Layla, you've got to come. It's time for Bithia. Oh, my goodness. What is it? It's time for what? It's time for my cousin Bithia to have her baby. Let's go. Mom, that's on the other side of camp. What about our animals? Oh, you're right. Oh. <laughs> What's all this ruckus about? Jasana. Oh, no. Not him. Jasana, would you mind looking after Seth? I, my cousin is going to have a baby. Well, I'm not very good at... Well, you'll be fine. Seth is very mature. He takes care of himself and the animals. Ah, all right. Oh, then it's settled. Thank you so much. It should only be a short while. A couple of days at most. Mom! Layla, we need to go. Now, Seth, you mind Jasana until I get back? Oh, well, maybe you can help our neighbor with his chores. Chores? Hmm. Great. My boy, I didn't ask for this arrangement, and neither did you. But it will be a growing experience for both of us. Under my tutelage, you shall learn to accomplish great things. I'll bet. You call that a basket? Get a bigger one! But, Jasana, we're only supposed to gather enough mana for one day. Don't talk back to me, boy! Just get me a bigger... <laughs> basket! And saddle that <laughs> camel! Uh, yes, sir. Here, let me do that. Yeah, come on, you. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, boy, saddle up the donkey. But I'm not done with you. Manna was a white, flaky-like food that God provided for us every morning. Except on the Sabbath, of course. Because God didn't want us to work on that day. He wanted us to rest and worship Him. Stop here and start gathering. Hmm. Sometimes I think it tastes like olive oil. <laughs> hmm. But there's also a little hint of honey. It'll all taste rotten if we gather more than we need for today and the Sabbath. It'll spoil. Don't you know that? You just gather and leave the thinking to me. Maybe you'll learn something. But, Jasana, why would you want to take more than the Lord says? Because maybe I can sell it. Let me explain it to you this way. I swear by God that it's a okay to make a little money on the side. And your mama wouldn't put a pocket in your robe if you didn't have something to hide. When you swear stuff in the name of God, you'd better be sure it's true. Cause if he found out you lied in his name, I wouldn't want to be you. You gotta do what you can to get what you want. God knows you gotta work the system. When Moses gave lessons on piety, it seems to me you must have missed them. I swear by God, this coin is mine. It doesn't matter whose it was before. You can tell cause he gave me such a lucky strike. God would rather see someone else poor. Twist the facts and turn them round Convince me sun is rain You can pull it over me But you won't be fooling God When you take his name in vain You gotta do what you can To get what you want God knows you gotta work the system When Moses gave lessons on honesty It seems to me you must have missed them
I swear when God said to the very first man To build I a better mouse trap You need a better plan, plan To get God what do. you want You've got to do what you can but To get what you want You've got to do what you can Inside, quickly! Turn around! Yes, sir. Seth, come here, boy! Aren't you afraid I'll see your hiding place? Look at this! Feel! It's sticky and gooey. Sticky and gooey? <laughs> it's wet! That's uh. the point! It's wet! Don't you know what this means? You'll have to find a new hiding place? There's water down there, under the sand, right in my tent! Can you imagine what would happen if there was a spring right under my tent? We can dig a well. People wouldn't have to go to the other side of the camp to fill their water jars. They could come right to my humble tent. Oh, Jessana's well. For a slight fee, right? Now you're getting it! Think of the water! Think of the convenience! Think of the money! Oh, brother. Well, you'd better get started. Started what? Digging the well. Now? But it's almost the Sabbath. We can't work. What if someone finds out? Don't worry. It'll be our little secret. But what will the Lord think? When God gives you a gift like this, it would be a sin to wait, even for a moment. We can put your animals to work, too, and it will go faster. The animals are very tired. Nonsense! All they need is a little pep talk to see the true wisdom of Jessana's plan. Joshua, uh, did you find someone to help Bithia? Yes, Aaron. Layla's helping. Any sign of Moses? No, oh, no, not not yet. Uh, but today, at least, the mountain is silent. You'd best return to camp. Surely Moses won't come until after the Sabbath. No, Joshua, you're wrong. Moses comes before the Sabbath. It didn't take long for news to spread through the camp. God replaced the tablets that were destroyed, and Moses was coming down from the mountain with them. Isn't it exciting? Moses is back. Excuse me, Mother. I must check something out. Come on, Zeke! Ephraim, where are you going? It's almost the Sabbath. It's important. Ephraim. Please, Mother, just five minutes. I'll be right back, promise. <laughs> this is so unfair. It's almost sundown. Oh, then we can rest. I doubt it. This old coot isn't going to stop for anything. <laughs> we should have all stayed with Shadi and refused to work. Right. Hmm. Then old Jasana would threaten us with that stick of his. Well, I'm not afraid of him. I'm not afraid of him either. It's that staff of his that scares me. Be careful, you good for nothing! <laughs> Shadi, what's with the noise? I'm trying to get a little rest. I work nights, you know? Amos, I needed you, and you weren't answering. S sorry. Earplugs. <laughs> Those are so cute. Amos, can you sneak inside Jishana's tent and find out what's happening? Of course. I'm a rodent. That's what I do. But it looks like that human beat me to it. Have you struck water yet? No. Just gooey sand. Keep digging. This isn't right, you know. It's been the Sabbath since sundown. Keep working. Don't stop until I have a will.
Would you look at this? Ooh, whoa! Uh, father! My son, your mother is worried. You must return to the tent now. It is past sundown. Uh, I can't. Ephraim. There is something very wrong inside that tent. My friend is in trouble. Well, what is it? You must tell me, son. We should take no action on our own. We must go see Moses. I'm so tired, I'm gonna fall over. Yeah, we gotta do something. I know what will make us feel better. Let's sing our work song. Uh, I love to wake at six o'clock on weekdays one and two. To work I go to plant and so until the day is through. It's good, good, good to work, work, work. It's what I love the best. Six days I work, but the seventh day, well, that's my day of rest. I love to wake at six o one on weekdays three and four. Out in the sun until I'm done, there's nothing I love more. It's good, good, good to work, work, work. It's what I love the best. Six days I work, but the seventh day, my day of rest. I love to wake at 6.03 on weekdays 5 and 6. When people ask, I do each task. I never would say nix. We love to wake at half past 8 upon the seventh day. Yeah, that's our day to worship God, give thanks to Him, and pray. Our one, one, one day off, 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 our Father God knows best. Six days we work, but the seventh day... Yeah. Well, that's our day of rest. On weekday one, we dig and hoe. On weekday two, we plant and sow. On weekday three, we lift and hoe. On weekday four, we do it all. On weekday five, we sweat and strain. On weekday six, we don't complain, but we, we like, like the seventh day the best. Sana, Rachel's just tired. She can't do anymore. Hmm. All right, then. I'm going to put that... Uh... <laughs> Good for nothing camel to work if it's the last thing I do. Don't feel bad, girl. We shouldn't be working tonight anyway. Hey, Miss, what's happening? Whoa, you should see what's going on in there. It's the biggest operation since building the pyramids. And on the Sabbath, no less. As I suspected. <laughs> that man called Jishana has no regard for God's laws. No good can come of this. Oh, I'm gonna get that camel! Uh-oh. It looks like no good is coming our way. Uh-oh. Ooh, gotta fly. All right. Now you listen to me, you old sand. Dog, if you think you're going to ruin my plans and sit out here while your friends are hard at work... <coughs> Don't you look at me like that. I'll show you who's giving the orders around here. <gasps> Moses. What do you think you're doing, Jasana? Uh, Moses. Ah, how good to see you after all this time. Moses, your face. I have been in the presence of the Lord. Where's Seth? Where's Seth? Oh, Seth. Mom! Are you okay? I'm okay. What is this? Uh, you see, the sand underneath my tent was damp, so we were digging a well for the camp. Don't you know this is the Sabbath? It has been the Sabbath ever since the sun went down, the time when man and beast are supposed to rest. The Lord says, 
Six days may you do all your work, and on the seventh day you shall rest. Return to your tents. Joshua and I will deal with Jessana. Mm -hmm. Let's go home, Seth. Three baskets of manna, too. Now, Moses, please. I was only thinking of the people, I swear to God. Careful. You have a reputation for using the Lord's name in vain. You have no conception how infinitely precious is the name of the Lord. It is a treasure greater than gold. Yet you use his name lightly to swear oaths, to justify your own desires and schemes. Ah, please, Moses, I repent. I have done wrong. I see it now. Moses, there is something down here. It's not water, though. It's some kind of black goo. Or completely worthless, obviously. Jessana, you shall wait until the Sabbath is over. And then you shall fill in this well. Every shovelful, by yourself. No animals, no children. You shall do all the work yourself. <laughs> I'll be happy to supervise. Very well. Thank you, Moses, thank you. Thanks for saving me. That's what friends are for. See you tomorrow. Have a blessed Sabbath. Seth, time to come in. I should have said no, Mom. I shouldn't have let Jasana push me around. Oh, you're only a boy, Seth. Oh, I was the one who made a hasty decision. <laughs> I should have chosen a better protector. <sighs> now, come to bed. It will be a restful Sabbath. Good night, Amos. I guess all's well that ends a well. <laughs> Go to sleep, Amos. You guys can snore all you want because I put some cotton in my ears and it... Hey guys, I was I was just joking, you know? Uh, guys? Uh, guys? Guys? Come on. Move the bucket, would you? Please? I slept well that night, and I think I learned an important lesson. God cares a lot about what we do and what we say. We need to be careful about the words that come out of our mouths and make time every week to rest and spend with Him. We need to honor God in every part of our lives.